final round of the 2011 HP Byron Nelson Championship from TPC Four Seasons Resort, where the winds were up once again. It was a survival test on this Sunday. Ryuji Imada emerging as the leader. Three birdies on the front side, looking for another here at 13. He would have that. Imada with his fourth birdie in the round. He was pressing late, giving away a bogey at 15. Keegan Bradley two holes further ahead, this at 17, and a nice par save. Bradley with a pair of birdies on the front, another at the 10th, and now lining up what could be his fourth birdie in the round at 18 to move to four under par. Just misses on the right side, but he would post at three under on a day when the winds were up over 30 miles per hour. Ryan Palmer feeling some of that pressure, started the day at five under, but five bogeys on the card, but still in this rallying at 16. He was down by two, and that would lead to birdie and put him to within one. After the bogey at 15, he mata down to a one-shot advantage, but he takes bogey at 17, so now he's tied with Bradley. He needs this to stay alive. Comes up short, so he loses that three under total. Keegan Bradley now the only player at three under. Ryan Palmer, who just made bogey at 17, trying to answer. And he does from 119 yards. This floating down that slope to that back left pin, six feet away. Could it be just the second birdie at 18 all day long? And Ryan Palmer matches Bradley with a three under total on two extra holes. Both players would miss the fairway. Bradley would come up just front and left of the green with his approach and Palmer finds problems. The hazard left. And Ryan Palmer now thinking about bogey and Bradley thinking about his first ever win on tour from that fringe. Two putts for the win. What a lag putt for Keegan Bradley. Putting four in play, his aunt, Pat Bradley is a World Golf Hall of Famer, and now Keegan is a winner on the PGA Tour, vaulting to 20th in the FedEx Cup standings with his first ever win. Join us on Thursday, the Memorial Tournament, opening round 3 o'clock Eastern on Golf Channel.